So, welcome to Real World Crypto 2018 in Zurich. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, we've got some logos there. The main people who have done all the heavy lifting have been IBM Research and Google, and we'll thank them many times during the conference. So let's thank them once to, to now. Thank you. Now, despite uh, uh, Switzerland apparently having shed loads of snow and all sorts of problems, um, we have no snow in Zurich, so the picture's a bit wrong, and we do apologise. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the first real-world crypto that's been sponsored by the ICR. So the ICR provide lots, uh, we've kind of uh, joined forces with the ICR, which is the International Association of Cryptologic Research, if you didn't know what that is, um, because the event is now huge, and uh, doing it all on our own is a bit difficult. Um, this provides financial stability, which means we can book nice big venues, and we're going to have to be bigger next year. You are all now members, unless you did something very weird at registration, you are all now members of the IACR for 2019. If you went to an IACR conference in 2017, you are a member for 2018. If, you have, this is, if this is your first IACR conference, and there's about 250 of you for which this is your first IACR conference, um, if you want to be a member in 2018, just go to the IACR webpage and pay for it. This allows you to vote in the elections which happen in about November each year. Um, there's about 600 participants here, which means this is the biggest ICR event ever. So um, thank you all for turning up. And, um, but the format of Real World Crypto will stay the same despite us throwing in with these academic people at ICR. Okay, right, so where have you all come from? Well, uh, just under about 25% of you have come from the United States. A smaller percentage comes from uh, Switzerland, then the United Kingdom, uh, which is not very united at the moment. Um, then there's, um, <laughs> then there's uh, Germany, France, Netherlands, Japan, for those of you who, who are sort of eyesight challenged at the back. Okay? So, but that's where you've roughly all come from. So a lot of people have come all the way from the other side of the pond. Um, so even with your IECR registration fee to mean you're a member of the ICR, the registrations are still very, very low. This is due to the huge sponsorship we get from companies, okay? Um, the companies donate to the conference. They get nothing formal in return except for your undying thanks. So please give them thanks. We're gonna... every, every cent that a company donates goes to support the conference. They get nothing in return. They don't get a free entry. They get nothing. They still have to be treated like everybody else, but they just get something warm at the bottom of their heart. Having a low registration fee means we have a diverse audience. As you can see, we're, we're going to be at the limit of this venue. Next year, we're going to have to have an even bigger venue, which means that we, um, it's going to, it, the cost goes exponentially up the bigger the venue you have. So if you want to keep registration fees low, then please get your companies to donate. Please email me as soon as possible with how much money you want to give me. Um, and we can then keep the registration fee low. You will pay either via sponsorship or you will pay via registration fees. So there you go. You've got, you, get out, you don't get out of it anyway, okay? So please send me money for next year ASAP. We've also, we're supporting, we give out 50K US dollars roughly to support student attendance. So we uh, pay for some of their flights, maybe their hotel, etc. So again, we thank the sponsors for this and the National Science Fund in the US for sponsoring a bunch of US students to come over here. And we've also want to thank Google especially because they've got, they also put in a special fund for female attendees to come. So that's um, also good. Again, helps diversity in the community. So thanks to all those people again. You're going to be clapping. Keep clapping. Yeah, yeah. Um, We've got a lot of logistic support has been provided for free by the University of Bristol, paying out of stipends, collecting money for sponsorship, et cetera, et cetera. We won't thank them because I'm not there anymore, so I don't care. Um, right, so, um, but we're going to I thank them anyway. <laughs> the other thing we've got different is there's a new code of conduct. See the webpage. This is kind of new. We kind of thought it might be a good idea. It's still work in progress. Um, uh, we're kind of going to talk about it at the steering committee meeting and work forward. Uh, but basically, the code of conduct says just be nice to everybody. If you're not nice to everybody, we're going to kick you out. Okay? You are here um, 
uh, just like you're in any other venue, if you went to a rock concert or whatever, you're here um, and, and, we, and the steering committee reserve the right to refuse admission if you are abusive or horrible, okay? And we are horrible people, so we will enforce this. Okay, the programme committee um, was also different this year because it's just getting bigger. So we, um, as you know, we don't invite uh, papers, we invite contributed talks. There was a large number of submissions, 95 We've accepted 13 long accepted call talks um, and seven short talks. Um, the total number of invited talks of 15. The number of reviews generated, the amount of comments generated by the reviewers was 295. So we do actually do something in the committee to work out who should talk or not. Um, the selection criteria are not whether it's academically whizzy. Okay? The selection criteria is whether we think it is of interest to you the novelty, the timeliness, and the quality of the speaker. So hopefully the speakers will live up to our confidence in them. The uh, uh, Contributed Talks Committee is there with the chair, Dan Bonnet, who uh, marshaled all of these reviews. So please thank Dan. Okay, so that's all the things that are different. What are the same? Well, the same will be, we will be giving out the Levshin Prize, which will be given to two people who deserve a pro or two people or two groups who deserve a prize for their work in real world crypto please turn up today at 12 o'clock because you never know you might be the winner okay um, then on Thursday we have lightning talks actually the time might have changed I'm not quite sure um, you queue up to give a pitch basically there is no slides you queue up to give a pitch the only thing you can rely on is your wits and charisma so that's what you have for the lightning talks and to keep it current and timely, we've scheduled at the last minute a special talk on Thursday about Spectre and Meltdown, which we thought you might be interested in, which is why this lightning talk session is a bit shorter. Real World Crypto 2019 is, will be in the Bay Area, likely to be San Jose. Everyone knows the kind of thing, go East Coast, West Coast, Europe, East Coast, West Coast, Europe, unless we have a very good reason for not doing. Uh, we are currently, see the Real World Crypto website for suggested, in, so you can have a, there's a link there permanently for suggesting invited speakers. There's a link there for suggesting winners of the Levshin Prize. And there will be details of the contributed talks procedure, which will come soon as sort of was set things up. Okay. Now, speakers, please beware. This venue is often a rock venue. People who have played here are ACDC, Black Sabbath, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Amy Winehouse. So, so please kind of make, that, make your presentations kind of just as, as good, okay? There's no crowd surfing around, allowed in the... Uh, we'll kick people out if they do crowd surfing, okay? So let's rock. Actually, no, let's encrypt, okay? Right. So, finally from me. Uh, we want to thank once again Anya and Amelia because they did shed loads of the work. So Anya and Amelia, could you just stand up so everyone knows who you are? <laughs> Woo -hoo! Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well done. And with that, I hand you over to Anya. Okay. Uh, thanks. And uh, also, and welcome everyone to Robert Crypto and to Zurich. And I actually would also like to, to share the thanks with some more people. So from uh, Google, we had Bartosz uh, Schidat, Statik, and uh, from IBM, Jan Kamenisch to help. And um, given that was the first event, it was also an ISCR event, it was also, of course, very cool to have the president of the ISCR sitting on the same floor and helping with any issues regarding that as well. So also thanks to uh, Christian Kasheng for his help. Um, I mean, Nigel already gave you now the, um, the most important part of the, the local information about the, the rock history. Um, also, the Wi-Fi, I think you have heard, it's RWCS because we had to have an eight-character password. Um, coffee breaks will be outside on two floors, and the, uh, the lunches are going to be in dedicated rooms upstairs, so we will have a bit more room. Um, we'll have all the rooms up from tomorrow. Today, we have one room less. And um, we also have reserved small meeting room upstairs. So if you go up, there is a door um, to the right. Um, if you want to just meet people, discuss some new crypto ideas, you can go there and hang out and don't have to do that in the back of the auditorium. Um, we also have a, a welcome reception today, right after the last session in the foyers um, outside. So that's about some more local information. Um, in terms of uh, social media, please uh, 
tweet about the event. I think a lot of people already have started that, and it was uh, kind of interesting to kind of to follow um, how, the, how the people were uh, coming into Zurich. Please use the hashtag #RealWorldCrypto and not RWC, because that is more well known as a Rugby World Cup, and uh, I think we will not be able to change that. Um, yeah, videos will be um, streamed and also later on put on the YouTube channel. Um, I, I hope it works, so just go to the YouTube channel of Real World Crypto and the live stream should be, um, appear there at the first video. And it also means if you're a speaker and you do not want to be recorded and or streamed, please come to um, either Emilia or me or send us an email before that so we can turn uh, the video off. Also speakers, please send us your slides if you want to have them on the presentation laptop sometime in advance, just uh, we have some time to put it there. And also send them, I think, to Nigel if they should be on the website, so we just have uh, clear records if they should be on the presentation laptops or uh, on the website. And uh, also if you're a speaker, please come in a bit earlier to the front so we can mic you up and then set everything up. And yeah, I think that's it from my side. I think I speak for everyone for the local organization committee. is such a a great feeling that after almost two years of organizational work, um, to see the event being started, to seeing people flying in from all over the world, it's just uh, a really cool feeling, and I hope you have a great time, and yeah, so let's get the, the real crypto started, and I think for the first time now, we have the, uh, the slides with all the sponsors, and yeah, let's just uh, thank them once again for, for their support. All right, so let's get the show on the road. So uh, we're going to start our first session on key management services. I guess before we start, I just want to uh, repeat the announcement that we're always looking for uh, proposals for invited talks. There's a permanent link on the RWC website, so if you have ideas for uh, who we should invite, just go and nominate them. Uh, so A should nominate B, and uh, you know we'll take that uh, in seriously into consideration. All right, so with that, uh, let's get started with the actual program. So uh, we'll start with the key management, key management services session, and our first speaker is Shai Giron from Amazon, who is going to talk about AWS Key Management Services. Shai, all yours. Ah. 